I think it was the progression of the war and the fact that it's become increasingly clear that this is not, in fact, even a proxy war, but it is a direct war uh, between the United States and Russia. Uh, that is now what the Ukrainian uh, uh, defense minister has said, that they are do fighting the war on behalf of NATO. The logistics, the weapons, the targeting, the strategy, everything comes from NATO. And also you have that being said also by the Russian uh, defense minister. Uh, you have it increasingly said in the West. You have, of course, the German foreign minister that is saying uh, that this is a that they were at war with Russia and speaking on behalf of Germany, but also on behalf of all of Europe when she makes that comment, all of Western Europe. So it's that escalation and the fact that, of course, there are now red lines that are being crossed that were initially drawn by including the Biden administration, the most pro-war, warmongering factions of the U.S. government that is, of course, the aggressor in this conflict. The fact that a few months, just a few months ago, they were saying to send tanks, that are you crazy? That would be a third world war. And yet here we are with tanks being deployed from the United States, from many different countries across Europe, including most absurdly and ironically, Germany being deployed from Germany. Who thought that we would see German tanks again being deployed in towards Russia to fight Russia? I think people don't understand that 27 million Soviets, Russians died defeating the first Nazi regime in Europe. And the idea that, Na that Russia was simply going to tolerate the establishment of another one with a 30 nation military transatlantic military alliance behind it that is shipping it tens of billions of dollars, a hundred billion dollars plus in weapons and military aid, that it was going to tolerate that, that they were going to tolerate the plate, the induction of Ukraine into NATO, the placement of missiles that could strike nuclear missiles, cruise missiles that could strike Russian cities, including Moscow, in just three, four, five minutes. That is absurd. People have to understand that Russia has been invaded from the West several times, and that invasion path goes through Ukraine. There is a historic generational memory in Russia of the First World War, the Second World War, what was done to them during the 90s with the absolute devastation, the fact that Russia's uh, domestic product crashed by 50% with the Yeltsin administration that was essentially installed by the United States. That's why Putin has a 70-80% favorability rating while fighting this war. And that's why he calls it existential. And it's not just Putin, it's all of Russia. It's the Kremlin that agrees with this. No Western country, the United States, the UK, any country in Western Europe could, could draft hundreds of thousands of people to fight a war without facing a revolution. And yet you see that the leadership in Russia is able to do that because they correctly have assessed with the agreement of the Russian people that this is an existential war being waged by the United States, UK, and all of NATO against them with the explicit goal of balkanizing Russia, of cutting it up into multiple different countries, and deposing their leadership. If that happened in the United States, there would be a nuclear war tomorrow.